Hello and welcome back to another remarkable episode on the Black Tree Tonight Africa Rising channel. So we recently made an episode where we talked about Ghana's high school team winning the RoboFest in Chicago. And I know a lot of people approached me in the comment and were like, okay, so this is not the first time a Ghanaian high school is winning. The bottom line is, Ghana has been winning this competition regularly for the past three or four years. And now it begs the question, what is Ghana doing right? Or what is actually happening in Ghana? Well, I shed a little light on Ghana's new education minister or educational minister who relocated from the state. In fact, he's among the pioneers or the people that began charter schools in the United States, which is now taking over the educational sector in the Americas in terms of high school and basic education. Now, someone would say, is that enough? Are Ghana building charter schools? No. What Ghana is doing right is now focusing on the theoretical side of education, what we call a formal education, where people go learn theories and philosophies and all that, and now trying to focus, shift attention on what is actually needed. What Africa needs is problem solvers. What we need is people who look at the problem, diagnose it in the head, and use their hands to fix it. And this training can only be given in TVET, what we call technical vocational and educational training. Now, if you look at world economies like Germany and Japan, what we talk about industrialization and machine building, these people don't play with what they call the dual system in Germany. In fact, Japanese have a very local name for it. I cannot say it. I know you're going to laugh at me. But it is part and parcel of their curriculum. In fact, they have about 1.5 million people. In fact, when I talk about Japan population and I say 1.5 million, it's just uh, a chicken feed. But anyway, it's still a substantial amount of people that are focusing on technical and vocational educational training. In fact, in Germany, they have about an annual enrollment of about 500,000 students taking part in this, which lead to world recognized or recognizable certifications. What I think Ghana wasn't doing right was just leaving these people to apprenticeship where they don't get any certificate or recognition for it, only their skill. But now Ghana is shifting attention, building TVET schools. In fact, schools that are predominantly de de uh, uh, dedicated to technical vocational educational training. Apart from the STEM program that I talked about in the other episode, Ghanaians are now focusing on hand, uh, uh, hand skills, handy skills, problem solving with this TVET education. In fact, apart from the fact that these schools are built and dedicated to this TV training. The actual educational institutions like the University of Ghana, the University of Cape Coast, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Ghana is also dedicating courses. In fact, they used to have it, but now they are paying more attention to it and increasing the enrollment. As we speak now, as of 2024, we have no less than 150,000 Ghanaian students that are enrolled in this TVET education. And mind you, if these people are all going to graduate and set up their own factories or maybe become contract workers or being hired by Ghanaian industries, look at how much problem they can solve in the country. In fact, Ghana, how much is our problem anyway? Look at enrollment. Let's say about 100,000 of them end up graduating every year. Now think about the next 10 years for Ghana. So Ghana is not just doing well in the tourism industry where people are just flocking into the country. But in terms of problem solving, those people are really serious in solving their own problems in the future. And as I speak to you, they have a local manufacturer of automobiles, Kantanka Motors, and other vehicle assembly plants built by the Toyotas, the Hondas, and all those people. They are in the VW and all they are assembling cars in Ghana because of the skills and the training that they have already given to some of the youth. I think other African countries can look and emulate. Ghana is on the verge of changing the story. And we can't wait but to be part of that story. In fact, I'm proud to be a Ghanaian. I know the less an African. I'll see you when I see you. Once again, my name is Bekwin Badan and this has been the Black Suit Tonight African Rising channel. We are trying to hit 10k by the end of the year. We are 3k now, miraculously. So I think we can do it. Just share this video. Motivate an African while we grow this channel. I'll see you when I see you.